Hey, uh, a little bit of a special thing. Um, now, I'm learning MMT, Modern Monetary Theory, which um, uh, it basically says that any, uh, any country that uh, pays their own bills, pays bills outside the country in their own currency, on a flowing exchange rate, and has the raw materials to help support a GDP based in their own currency, uh, then they can, they, they don't, they, 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 there is no way they can run out of money. Uh, now, for those that love to do talking points, I mean, the ones on the uh, far right, the ones on the middle right, the ones on the uh, moderate left, uh, now they, they, they keep wanting to say that uh, we can't pay for a minute for all, we can't pay for a $15 minimum wage, we can't pay for green new deals, or at least a very um, uh, very toothy, I suppose you could say, uh, uh, Green New Deal, uh, you know, or a climate, green climate policy, um, like that right now that's, that uh, they're supposedly trying to bring through Congress. Uh, and then you have people like um, Chris Sinema and Joe Manchin and, you know, pretty much every Republican that's in either house. Um, they they love they, they love to, to say how you gotta pay for this and how you gotta pay for that. Well, and actually a lot of people um, they forget and but they forget but they don't forget because if you if you've noticed that a lot of them they they, they brag about being a former um, a former or current uh, depending on who you are uh, a current or former uh, business owner, corporation owner, stuff like that. Well, there's huge differences between the two because if you're in if you're in Congress, uh, if you're in the House, uh, you create budgets to be able to spend, um, and also tax, of course. Uh, and a lot of those people love to go to the debt, um, but the debt is quite literally a, a record of every piece of money that has gone into the economic system. But uh, it's, does, it doesn't show how much has been taxed out, or um, or rather, it's a record of the money that's been put into the system minus taxes. Uh, and a lot of that has to do with with corporations like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, uh, PayPal, and other big conglomerates, um, because there's a difference between. Uh, nominal taxes and taxes they actually pay. Um, now, since like Amazon, they they made their start like in Seattle, where I'm from. Uh, they made their start by I guess like buying books and then selling them, and then selling them online. And they grew this big, huge conglomerate. Obviously, uh, my biggest problem with people who are in office and allow you know them to come in and uh, use ta use actual taxpayer dollar from that city because uh, states are uh, are uh, currency users and not currency uh, issuers. The federal government they through spending legislature uh, they, they are the currency uh, uh, issuer because they allot uh, a certain amount of money and spend legislation and they uh, tell the Fed to go ahead and release a certain amount of money into the economy through banks and other programs. Um, but a lot of people don't, I don't know if they don't know this, if they don't want to know this, or they're so uh, intermixed with the mainstream media that are owned by the same people. Uh, like the Rupert Murdochs, the people who are involved, uh, uh, Ted Turner's former uh, um, company uh, that owns CNN, uh, uh, Universal Studios, you know, companies like that. I mean, there's like eight uh, big big corporations that own almost every single piece of uh, media out there. Um, Rupert Murdoch owns a, quite a few in Britain. Um, that's how the Tories keep getting freaking. Uh, um, Put back in office, despite the fact that they do ha that they have a multi-party system, which is what we need here in the United States. Uh, a lot of people uh, saw online earlier today saying that if you like, if you vote Green Party, you're wasting your you're you're, you're wasting uh, your vote, or 
you're allowing the Republicans or Democrats to win or whatever, however opposite of what that person wants. Now, ranked choice voting, in my opinion, and this is kind of going off off, off, su off subject, but at the same time, it's still within the subject because the people who are in House uh, and Senate that vote for legislation to be able to spend uh, come are, repre are representing, you know, Democrats or Republicans. Um, and so, I, it's my full belief that we have a ranked choice voting, or as I uh, hashtag, rank choice or uh, rank of the country. Um, uh, I fully believe that we have people that understand what uh, being in charge of a currency issuer and not being in charge of a currency user, because bi businesses are currency users and not currency issuers. The federal government is the, the Fed is a currency issuer. The uh, government spends that money uh, that they allocate, that they get allocated from the Fed. So things like the Green New Deal, like fifty dollars minimum wage, like you know those kind of spending legislation that will actually help the uh, the little guy basically uh, get up to become the middle the the middle tall guy or however you want to call it. Um, that's the kind of thing we need in regards to that. So we need politicians uh, that are that understand what being a currency issuer is and not what a currency user is. Because if you think of a currency user, then you don't think about, uh, you, you think in the way that we need taxes to be able to fund these. If you're a currency, uh, if you're a country that's a currency issuer and you're, you make laws that affect or uh, use that as a way of spending, then you don't, then somehow you don't understand that you're a currency issuer through your spending legislation. Um, so obviously, they I think they know to a certain degree, but they don't want to go too far with it because men men do people overall people do have a current uh, a, a a tendency to overdo things go to the extreme too much. But I say this in regards to the spending within the United States uh, right now, because our our economy has been down for so long, and only say Republican states have. Partially open, but they've also had partial uh, COVID-19, for instance, um, increases as well. Um, but the combination of that and the fact that people have not been able to live based on the wages they have been earning beforehand, uh, that's where uh, the federal government should have came in and said, okay, $15 minimum wage, that's it, that'll get you started at least a little bit. That's not the bond, that's the... Uh, that's that's not the end of it, but that's for right now. If they would have done that part and forced bigger companies to pay that instead of allowing the, the big corporations to um, go for that themselves, so that gives them the option of opting out of doing that. If you tell them you have to do this because we have people that need that currency to pay the bills to not for that they don't get go bankrupt. And that uh, you guys don't need our bailouts again. So it's kind of like a circle. The Fed doled out the money to the banks for loans and everything else, but the but the Fed keeps interest rates low to nothing, and that allows owner or people to borrow at a lesser amount, making their overhead costs and the overall economy lesser which means they have plenty of fiscal room to open up shop, to buy merchandise, to stock the merchandise, to be able to pay a little wage to their customer or to their employees, making that employee happier, making them be able to go, oh, cool, I have more money, I can go out and spend it. Making it a whole thing, that's what, they, that's what an economy is. In regards to um, other countries like Zimbabwe, there are a couple of basics in regards to MMT that I'm learning. I'm not totally done with learning, obviously, but a country that uses uh, uh, other countries' uh, currency, in my, in my in my view, lessens their currency value because they're not they're not creating a demand domestically for their currency. They're creating demand for a foreign currency. Two, if you have debt, outside debt, unlike the United States, we don't have an outside debt. So we can, because we use our currency to pay other countries for trade and other goods and services. 
Um, other countries that don't do that and they say are part of the EU. The countries in the EU, uh, the key point here is that they are not the issuer. They used to be issuers of the currency. They're no longer issuers of the currencies. They are users of those currencies. That means that they don't have a central bank within their own country that allows their country to dole out money. The EU has a central bank, and the central bank has to has to have them go to them and say, we need this amount of money because uh, our, our, our economy is down because of this part. And that's what happened with, with Greece. That's what's happened in Turkey. That's what happened in other countries because they don't have the raw materials to be able to do overall trade. They don't. Uh, they they don't have a floating exchange rate. They don't. Uh, they aren't able to print their own money to be able to you know feed it within their within inside their own country. So they don't have any backing in regards to as far as I'm concerned trade regarding you know raw materials that get purchased and made produced and sent off. Uh, or able to bring uh, other, uh, able to bring uh, uh, current uh, stuff in <laughs> for you know the, uh, for the consumers here or there or anywhere else. So there's very big differences. It's floating exchange rate. It's uh, being a currency issuer, and it's not taking uh, debt out from, from from outside of your country. Those three main components that I know of, that, and I'm still learning, obviously, again, as I keep saying, because I still am, um, those three things uh, make a country sovereign. Uh, sovereign. So, anyway, that's basically what I want to say for now. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow to uh, to do more um, uh, talking financially uh, later on in the day. I'm taking my 4 o'clock or whatever. But I will also be doing uh, my usual news thing that will be free uh but you have a choice of becoming a patreon on my patreon page so remember that in regards to that don't to just sit there and like you know uh, uh unsubscribe from my channel on youtube um just all uh, my my stuff could be seen on my patreon it's free it's there and you can have a choice you can have a choice between becoming a patreon or watching free um, and also, there's going to be a link to uh, to the uh, to the uh, Teespring um, for my merchandise, uh, uh, conversations with the socialist and uh, GPS, and also uh, new ones a Slack network. Uh, I'm trying to do a brand with that as well. And there's a there's a shirt that's kind of messed up, but it's like 35 bucks I think uh, called um, uh, a Mo, which is Mother of Excellence, and it has Mo on, underneath it. Anyways check that out uh thanks for watching i uh, hope I, I hope you learned something and i'm hoping that the rest of the people who are into mmt just like i am uh i i did you proud as part of the bar goes otherwise let me know and i'll keep learning as part of the bar goes thank you very much and peace out for now